Hello everyone, I am Sword Caliburn 687 and today I would talk about Dragon Ball V Kakarot. Before this video gets started, smash that like button and share and subscribe to the video. It is because it would be a big help for me and my channel to make more Kakarot videos going forward. Without further ado, let's begin the video. I love the DLCs for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot so far. Each time to release a DLC, it makes the game bigger and better. DLC 1 introduced some new transformations and skills getting carried over to the main game. DLC 2 introduced Horde Battle. And last, DLC 5 has introduced ground-based combat in Kagarot. I know that there are some people that feel mixed on DLC 6 for Kagarot, all because there are some Dragon Ball fans that wanted Super and GT content to make it in the game. Despite some people hating on DLC 6 for DBZ Kagarot, I do really like this DLC, even though it had some issues, but I hope CC2 keeps making more DLC going forward. I think this would be a perfect time to talk about what would come after DLC Pack 2 for Kakarot. First, I would talk about Dragon Ball Super, and then I would talk about Dragon Ball GT. With the Universe 6 and 7 tournament, you would obviously fight Hit, Kaba, and Frog. The Universe 6 arc in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot needs to introduce a little bit of ground-based combat and flying. The next arc is going to be the Goku Black arc. The only thing you would get to do is fight Goku Black and Zamatsu. I hope we can get some new skills, transformations, and super attacks to be carried over into the main game. I hope that we would get to play Super Saiyan Rage Trunks and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This Dragon Ball arc would make a lot of Dragon Ball Super fans happy. The Tournament of Power. I feel like Cyber Connect 2 can do a lot with the Tournament of Power DLC, all because they can make a lot of Goku's friends playable. I wish that all of Goku's friends would be playable in this DLC, but I feel like they would only limit Goku's friends to a certain number of characters. Characters like Gohan and Piccolo would be fine, all because they would carry over some of their stats and their abilities in the main game. What characters I think are going to be playable in the Tournament of Power, it would be TN, 17, and maybe Golden Frieza. I know that Frieza isn't Goku's friend, but he does fight in the Tournament of Power for his own interest. Goku makes a deal with Frieza if he wins the Tournament of Power. He would use the Dragon Ball to resurrect him. Frieza and Seventeen were the main reasons why Goku won the Tournament of Power. So both of these characters must be playable. Now let's talk about TN. Making a moveset for TN should not be hard for CC2 to do, all because they already created a moveset in the last DLC. What characters I think would be scratched for not being playable? I think it would be Master Roshi, Android 18, and Krillin. All of these characters I am talking about are probably going to be assist characters and nothing more. Krillin is the obvious character for not being playable, all because he isn't playable in the other DLCs and the main story for Kakarot, so I think he's not going to be playable in the Tournament of Power. Now, I think I would talk about how the arena would work in the Tournament of Power. I think how this arena would work, it would work like DLC 5 for Dragon Ball V Kagarot. 
like in DLC 5 for the tournament arena, when you hit your opponent out of the ring or knock them out, you would win the whole entire match. Unlike DLC 5 for Kakarot, this tournament arena would have the different rules on how to win the tournament. What would make the Tournament of Power Arena different from DLC 5? It would be you would fight with your teammates. In the Tournament of Power, the characters fight in groups. I would like that to be replicated like in the show. I think how fighting the different universes in groups would work, it would work like fighting villainous enemies in DLC 5. You would get to fight all the different characters from the different universes, but there would be an obvious objective to get rid of them. If you killed them or knocked them out of the ring, you would win that match in the game. Each time you clear a match, the round in the tournament would get harder until you fight Jiren. Also, like in DLC 5, you won't be able to fly in the tournament arena. The last DLCs from Dragon Ball Super, it would be the Broly DLC and the Super Hero DLC. What would some of the Dragon Ball Super fans would want from the DLC? It would be playing as Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta, Gohan Beast, and Orange Piccolo. This would be the last DLC I would talk about, Dragon Ball GT. I am not gonna talk that much about GT. It is because I talked about GT in my other videos for Kagarot. I would talk about a few things I would want for a GT DLC in Kagarot. I would want Majub and Goten to be playable in the GT DLC for Dragon Ball Z Kagarot. My idea for making Goten and Oob playable in DVD Kakarot, it is changing some of their boss movesets when they eventually become playable characters. The idea of changing some of the boss fights movesets and later to be playable isn't really new, all because action games like DMC3 and Demon Slayer have already did this before. The last thing I would want for the GT DLC in Kakarot, it would be a fight between Super Saiyan 4 Goku and SS4 Vegeta. A cool idea I have for their boss fight, I think Super Saiyan 4 Goku should be a boss fight. The boss fight for GT Goku should be a post-game boss fight that takes place after the ending of the GT DLC. The idea I have for the boss fight, it is Vegeta to challenge Goku one last time before he leaves with Shinron. I would like the boss fight to be in Vegeta's perspective right before Goku leaves with Shinron. This final battle between Goku and Vegeta from Dragon Ball GT would prove who would be the best rival and who is the strongest. I would like Goku to do Kamehameha times 10 and Dragon Fist in the boss fight. I think this is it. This would be a perfect time to end the video. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, but also leave a comment below. If you guys really want to see more of my content, anyway, see you guys soon.